Hello everybody, today we're doing an unboxing. I got my uh, custom lures in from my buddy Norm Coulter and we're going to take a look at those. You'll see a lot of what I'm going to be throwing this year as far as uh, you know hard baits go. So let's jump in here and take a look. Alright, so let's get started. Here's a box I got uh, from Norm. Now I've had this box a while but it's time for me to get the uh, baits out of here and get them put into my tackle box. I you know pretty much keep everything in order so we're just gonna dump everything out now these are all done up for me in the my favorite color especially in springtime so I need to get these babies ready to go and get out and throw them so we had Norm do up like almost any bait I own in these colors now this may some of you may recognize this bait this is a freak by uh, Rick Clun, who pushes them. I think he helped him design it. This is an awesome bait. You can't get it in this color. Now I've got it in this color. There's a flicker shad. That's going to be an awesome bait. There's a bunch of these. I believe that started out as a bomber. I think this is the one I've kind of called the bobber. It just barely gets under the surface almost like a wake bait I have several of these also done up in the uh, let me get those out separately and then here's my old hooks now Norm he does go through there anything he deems old or just not the proper hook he'll switch them out is what he did for me on these there's another freak I had I believe two of them done just in case one Gets lost, on, and that's what a lot of these baits are. I just went ahead and have him, you know, do a couple. That way I'll have a spare. We all know how we like to lose baits. I love that color. I believe I have a few. Some of these are just with a little hint of orange and a few without any orange. Back to the jerk baits. I have... I can't remember exactly which ones are which, but there's the Mega Bass... I believe I had him do the square bill mega bass vision 110 and it has just a hint of orange and that's the square bill one that's gonna make for well, I can't get them out of the packages because the hooks are caught but I'll get them out and ready very nice bait I believe this is well, I won't fit them all out of the packages these are going to work very well the colors I like There's a little deeper running one. And then uh, I had, I think I had a couple of the original wiggle warts, one or two, and then a, one of the newer style, I believe, done up. I think that's an older version here. I'm gonna make for awesome fishing season this early spring especially that tends to be when these bass they just start they, they get up they start feeding up to spawn and a lot of times there's not the you know abundance of food there so they are you know uh, cannibalistic carnivore they'll eat their own species and stuff so that's where this kind of comes in and works real well is to go with this baby bass color a lot of these are the bagleys I believe these two are Bagley Bates. Here's another one of the Bobber. Now, there's a little Flicker Shad. Should work good. There's another bait there. Now, here's a Man's Minus One. I believe I had him do two of these. Yeah, there's two Man's Minus Ones. Those are going to be awesome. Those should work very well. That was just another one of the 
wiggle warts there, I believe. And there's a smaller version of the Freak. I do like those. And then I have just a few of the uh, lipless ones done up. Oh, that's a... Uh, cannot forget about one of the greatest ones, lipless, it would be the Sonic. So I had him do up a Sonic. That's going to be a good one. And then I think this is... I think one of these is the one knocker and then one's a one eye shad. I think he had him do up. That's a little darker color, but these should work pretty good. So anyway, there you have it. A little quick uh, unboxing. All right, guys. Hope you liked that quick unboxing video showing you some of the custom baits I'm going to be trying this year. And I know they'll work. But anyway, get out there and go bass and bonsai. And like always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, baby. Baby, thanks for watching. There they all are laid out. Cool bunch of baits. I should be able to cover almost all of the water column. Get down deep with the freaks. The uh, man's one minus, baby one minus. The uh, bobbers, but I think they're bomber A's is what they call those. And I can get pretty deep with the uh, wiggle wards. Of course, these you can run these as deep as you want to go with any of these uh, lipless. And then kind of the mid and you know real clear water situations, I'll be able to use these. We'll cover it all. I'll also have you may remember the S cranks. I've got a couple of those, a few others I had Norm do up for me that I still have. So this year should be a good year in the spring, early spring, hopefully with this color and the waters I fish. But there they are looking awesome.